Today is the day of the Lord. Let's welcome the Sunday homily with Father Ryan RCJ. Christmas sa everyone. Maligayang Pasko. Malipayong Pasko. Feliz Navidad. Today is Christmas. It's a day of rejoicing. For the Lord is born for us, the Savior of the world. Isang parish priest was being asked by his sacristan. And the sacristan asked the parish priest, Father, what is the spelling of love? And the Paris priest answered, The spelling of love is O-V-E. And the sacristan wondered why O-V-E? Where is the letter L? It's lacking. And the Paris priest responded, Because today is Christmas and there is the song, No L, No L, No L, No L. Deus Caritas Est. And that's the definition of Christmas. Christmas is love. Because Christmas is all about God, who is love. John 3.16 For God so loved the world, that He gave His only Son. What a love from God. What a sacrifice for us. During the Christmas day, our gospel is taken from the gospel of St. John, the prologue. And that gospel, it starts in verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was God. And in verse 14, that Word became flesh and dwelt among us. This word became flesh, in flesh, incarnated, and man is dwelling among us. Literally, the Lord is pitching His tent among us. The Lord is with us. He is dwelling with His people. But in that prologue of sin, Janet said, The world did not recognize Him. And his own people did not accept him. The world failed to recognize and to acknowledge that this word was God. In other words, they rejected the Lord. But nonetheless, the Lord still came. The Lord still lived among us. He gave himself as a gift. Now the question is, what is our gift? for the Lord during this Christmas since right from the start we receive Him as our gift Isang OFW Overseas Filipino Worker During Christmas naisip niyang magbigay ng Apple Notebook and he was able to send that Apple Notebook to the Philippines and after a week the son called the father, Oh, Tatay, Father, how is now the Apple notebook that I gave to you? Ah, my son, it's very good. It's very hard. Nasa kusina ngayon. Bakit nasa kusina? Ginagawa kong chopping board. The father... Sometimes we are like that. We fail to see the value, the importance, importance of someone who is with us. The same in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2, verse 7, They laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. There was no room for the child Jesus in the inn, in the house, and our Lord was being laid in a manger. 
right at the start from the birth of the Lord, he was already rejected. He was already not accepted. That's why in the ministry of Jesus, he said no prophet is accepted in his own native place. But despite of this rejection, the Lord still continued his ministry. And this ultimate rejection happened on the cross. They crucified the Lord. See, from the manger, from the wood of the manger, up to the wood of the cross. But the Lord still remained. He did not give up. Despite of all the insults, despite all the ridicules, of all the teasing, of all the negative things that he received, the Lord continued with his mission. That is the source of hope and encouragement for us. Really, it's really a source of encouragement and hope. Sometimes we experience rejection, non-acceptance, insult, ridicule. But if you are going to look and ponder on the Lord, He first experienced ridicule, non-acceptance, persecution, and rejection first. It's a hope. It gives inspiration and encouragement. Every time we experience this kind of negative things, we always look back to the Lord because the Lord has experienced it first. Yesterday, I saw a certain post on a Facebook. The mother was able to express her sentiment and she was able to say, Lord, I surrender for so many problems in my family, in my life. Lord, pwede na, kunin mo na ang buhay ko. I surrender. My dear friends, this Christmas, this incarnation of the Lord, that God is Emmanuel, that God is with us. He is one with us. He is one with us in our sorrow, in our joy, in everything. And that's the good news. When we experience sorrow, when we experience loneliness and sadness, disappointment, distress, the Lord is one with us. That's the good news of Christmas. Because the Lord will never abandon us. He is true to His promise. He is the Emmanuel. And let's pray. Lord, help me to see you always in my life. Because your presence, your guidance will always be my light. Especially if I am already in the world of darkness and confusion. Because you, Lord, you are my hope, you are my light, you are my joy, and you are my everything. Amen. Send the Lord, holy apostles, into your church. Thanks for watching, and this is Father Ryan Jimenez of the Rogation is of the Heart of Jesus, who always says, Purihin ang Dios, Purihin ang Panginoon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit also the notification bell so that you will be updated for the coming videos of the Sunday Homily with Father Ryan, RCJ. God bless you all.